Hello. Today we're going to talk briefly about fever. Your child is about nine months right now, and this is the time in the rite of passage that often children have fever, and something that can be very fearful for a parent, especially when it's their first time. I'd like to introduce you to two tools that we do have with fever. This one, which we'll focus in on right now, shows you when to call the doctor, this page, and this, this one shows you the dosages of ibuprofen and uh, acetaminophen, which are the medications to bring fevers down. The other more detailed manual that we have, called Fever Fear, a pamphlet to empower parents, has all the information on how to take a temperature, what a normal temperature is, and when a fever is of concern. Right now, let's start out by a little bit of an explanation. We'll... Here's the title, Fever in a Nine Month and Older, in a Fully Immunized Child. Today, because of all our vaccines, serious bacterial infections are at an all-time low. But it's important in order to consider management of fever that a child be fully immunized. Serious pneumonias have dropped by 30%, and meningitis have dropped by 99% almost. The fears that oftentimes parents have with their first-time fever, which they may consider high, is could it be meningitis? Will my child have a seizure? And three, will fever cause brain damage? Let's address these one at a time. Could it be meningitis? Today is ex extremely rare to get meningitis. There are f rare cases, although in our practice we haven't seen a case of bacterial meningitis because our kids are immunized in 15 years. The second, will my child have a seizure? Number one, only 5% of children have seizures. And it, it's also the rate of rise of the temperature as well as the height of the temperature. So some kids who have 105 fevers, for example, which seems very scary, and parents worry about a seizure. In fact, many of them, in the mass majority as a matter of fact, will never have a seizure. Somebody who may go from 100 degrees to 103 in a matter of 10 minutes is probably more at risk than a child going to 105 fever in 8 hours. Number three, will fever cause brain damage? Fever does not cause brain damage in and of itself. You can have a fever of 106 for a long, for long period of time and it will not damage the brain. Here's how we classify fever in children nine months and older. You might be a bit surprised at what we call moderate. Mild fever is 100.5 to 101.5. Temperatures greater than 101.5 to 104.5, which sounds very high, are really moderate fevers. High fever is a temp greater than 104.5. Remember, it's not the height of the fever that matters so much, it's how a child looks. And also remember, typical viruses can last 96 to 120 hours. In fact, four to five full days of fever. And that is not an uncommon occurrence necessarily with viral illnesses. Remember, ear infections rarely cause fevers over 102. Even under 101, and, even over 101 and a half. Though that this, is, this is often the parent's first thought. It is usually a virus. Now remember, the packet tells you how to be the best detective in detecting fevers that you need to call the doctor about and that are concerning. Because it's not just the height of the fever, but how a child looks. And remember, a response to, to ibuprofen or acetaminophen means a temp of around, uh, dropping of around 2 degrees. So, if, for example, your child's temperature is 103 and it goes down to 101, that is normal. That is what we would expect from using medications. Here is the card in which you can be a detective, trying to determine when to call the doctor when your child has a fever. Hang this on your refrigerator. Now, 
how the card is divided up is when to call immediately, when to call the next morning, and when to call during regular office hours. Remember, children that are fully vaccinated can have fevers from 96 to 120 hours um, because viruses can last that long. So four full days and even up to five full days. Beyond that, we should see them. Before then, however, look at the card and this can tell you when to call the doctors. And of course, you can call us anytime with concerns about fever. We hope that this has allayed some of your fears about um, uh, fever and will help you to empower you more to deal with your child's fevers. Um, and as we always say in Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, proactive in your child's care. Thank you for taking the time for, to listen today.